Hi everyone, this is AJ the Movie Owl, back again for another quick movie review, my thoughts on a film. So yeah, literally just finished watching um, The Tomorrow War, um, Chris Pratt, I wish. <laughs> yeah, no, um, I gave my missus the option, um, should we watch The Tomorrow War? Or shall we watch Career Opportunities, the John Hughes film, or shall we watch Till Death? Um, with Megan Fox. She chose the latter. So, yeah. Um, Megan Fox, till death. Um, I knew nothing about the film. It's come out of nowhere. Um, it's a thriller. Starring Megan Fox. Okay, let's... Um, oh, what can I say? Yeah, so... Um, this review might... Or thoughts might contain spoilers. Will contain spoilers. But again... I don't care. Um, you can spoil films for me. I don't care. So, yeah. So anyway, this is a thriller. Um, film starts off. Megan Fox playing this character called Emma. Um, she's in a relationship and she's having an affair. Um, uh, which was pretty obvious. Um, she's married. She's a boss's some attorney. Um, finds out that the geezer she's having an affair with is a bloke that um, works with him. A um, colleague of sorts. We find out that Megan Fox um, was the victim of a crime um, some years before. Um, this attorney, yeah, um, she got together with this attorney. Um, it's their anniversary. They go out for something to eat. He gifts her with this steel necklace because um, it's the anniversary that's a still whichever anniversary that is um, I'm sure I'll find out in years to come um, so yeah um, he takes her to uh, like some home uh, lake house um, during it's, it's winter time so it's all frozen over and whatnot um, he blindfolds her he takes the time to set up thousands of candles around the house um, scattering flowers, um, rose petals all around the place. Um, not worrying about the fire hazard of the candles. That always amazes me in films when people have thousands of candles set up. Anyway, she goes upstairs, they get to it. She wakes up drunk, handcuffed to him, and, um, spoiler, he blows his head off. Um, well, doesn't blow it off, but he shoots himself in the head, leaving her handcuffed to him. Um, it turns out that he he knows about the affair, um, so he's planned this. He's removed, you know, he's he's planned this whole thing, this whole charade to kill himself and um, remove everything from the house um, that gives her the ability to um, get out of the handcuffs, um, knives, any tools. Um, although there's glass about that she could have used to slice off his thumb and get the handcuffs up. But anyway, um, regardless, she knows he's a bit of a scumbag. Um, it turns out that he was actually cheating on her as well throughout their marriage, so she doesn't look so bad. Blah, 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 blah. Um, the bloke who who, who um, assaulted her in the past comes back. Um, the the ex, the dead husband has, um, uh, has made a deal with him to come and, and Finish her off, basically. Um, so a cat, and, um, a high, a, a game of cat and mouse hide and seek ensues around the house. Blah 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 blah. Um, the boyfriend, the bit on the side, he he comes into it. Um, oh, yeah, you know, usual sort of thing. Um, uh, what did I think of it? Um, it's an odd one, really. Um, Badly directed film. It started off a bit. Uh, Megan Fox, I suppose, you know, she's meant to be in this relationship that she's not very happy in. So she's, I don't know, I could just imagine her being told, look, just act bored, Megan, act bored, look bored, because you do look bored. But as the film progressed, it got marginally better, then got worse, then, I don't know, by towards the end of it, about five minutes towards the end, I realised that, hold on a minute, the poster is actually the last shot of the film. It's going to be the last shot of the film, yes. Um, that's not good. Um, by the end of the film, I thought 
you know what? Yeah, yeah, I'm quite happy. I'm quite happy. Um, but in hindsight, I don't know if, if that's because the film had ended. So I was quite happy. Uh, feasibly could have been. Um, yeah, it wasn't a bad film. It was just, you know, hour and a half. Um, wasted away watching it. I can't complain. It's probably can complain, actually. I do complain quite a bit. Um, is it a film that I'd ever consider buying? No. Is it a film that I'd ever watch again? No. Uh, do I feel like it was a waste of an hour and a half? Not really, but I could have been watching something else. Two things that I'd have put above it. Um, yeah. So they're my thoughts, really. Um, have you seen the film? I'm guessing not, because I guess everyone's watching The Tomorrow War tonight while I was watching that. Um, yeah. See the disappointment on this face here. Still, the night is young. Who knows? Um, I think I'll probably save the tomorrow war now for tomorrow. Um, I might watch Career Opportunities in a minute because I know that's just going to be an hour and a half. Um, yeah. So, have you seen this film yet? Um, are you going to watch it? Tell your thoughts on it. Um, let me know if you liked it or if you disliked it. Um, I thought it was just okay. Is it a film you'd ever have on at own? Um, do you like Megan Fox? Um, she was great in Transformers. Um, yeah, you don't really see much of her now, do you? But there you go. So, that's my thoughts on, um, what's it called? Till Death. Yeah, that was it. Um, I'm not, like I said, with my, I'm not going to rate it. Um, I'm not, I don't really into rating films. It becomes, when you're rating out of 10, all of a sudden you start, when you start comparing something, you know, um, that you're given 10 to an 8 to, and then it just doesn't, it doesn't work over the grand scale of things. But, yeah, if you want to just waste an hour and a half on a mindless film, a mindless thriller, Megan Fox thriller, then this is for you. Um, but yeah, I'm sure my missus was happy. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But anyway, um, then my thoughts on Till Death. I had to think of that title then. Um, yeah. So, that's it. That's me done. I'm sorry, I'm going back downstairs. Um, kick her off the TV now. She's watching YouTube. Hopefully not me. Um, yeah. So, hopefully I'll get to see you soon. Consider subscribing. Consider clicking the notification bell. Leave a comment. I'll get back to you. I'm happy to talk, discuss anything. Um, yeah, so. Anyway, I'll just leave you with that. Um, and have a great evening. Take care, everyone. Goodbye.